All right, I'm just making this video to uh, clear up a few things. Um, I had court today for my lawn chair and ticket. Uh, it was in the s beginning of the summer, it might even have been before the summer, I got a ticket uh, for riding my lawn chair. It was uh, uh, The ticket was riding an uh, off-road vehicle on road, or on the highway, um, which was at least a couple months before I ever went to Dave's farm so I had nothing to do with Dave's farm could possibly have nothing to do with Dave's farm and it's just a coincidence that I had court the day after Dave's farm got busted there's absolutely no connection with me going to court and Dave getting busted or whatever and Dave didn't get busted the bylaw officer came there just to inspect his property there was um, um, you know, haters uh, saying that they're from uh, his community in Lucan and they are uh, complaining about the vehicles there and the noise and the this and the that and whatever, but they don't even live anywhere near Dave. They're just lying and saying, uh, you know, that um, uh, they do or whatever. So. Um, nothing happened. There's no charges or fines or anything yet. I mean, I'm sure they'll come up with something sooner or later, but as of now, Dave's not charged with anything. Dave hasn't been fined. Um, uh, a Channel News came there today and uh, did a story on it, so if you go to uh, A Channel News on the internet, you should be able to, to see it. It was in the London Free Press today. Um, yeah, so the ticket I got before I ever went to Dave's, I had court today, so me videotaping the court, and I'm allowed to, it, it was open traffic court, I, I could have just waltzed right in there with the camera, I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't have impressed the judge, that's the only reason why we hid the camera, is just because we didn't want, you know, the judge to, to you know, see it, basically, and, and use that as sort of, uh, you know, us being cocky or whatever in court. But, um, you know, like everything's cool, uh, you know, the farm, I mean, I personally can't see them shutting it down. They're obviously trying, but, I mean, there's n absolutely nothing going on out there. I go there, I spend every weekend out there, and I'm out there most weekdays working on vehicles or hauling scrap or just uh, today, well, yesterday, I loaded up all the plastic bumpers and different car parts that were piled out in the back. Dave you know, keeps all the plastic sort of pieces off in a pile and then once a year sort of loads it all up and gets rid of them. So I have a dump trailer, so I did that for him. I took it last night and just dumped it this morning and then I went back today and I got a, a pickup truck on my trailer right now. So I'm going to dump that tomorrow, get the money for that, and then use that money to pay for fuel to get out there all the time and, and you know, bring food for everybody. Last week I brought chili, this week I'm bringing cabbage rolls and right now I'm just boiling the cabbage to uh, soften up the leaves and everything and uh, so you know in about half an hour I'm going to start making my uh, red uh, cabbage rolls with the redneck video so um, I just wanted to clear anything up uh, if anybody has any questions feel free to PM me uh, through YouTube and you know I mean since last weekend uh, I did that great big um, Honda Civic jump, and you know I've gotten over. Uh, let's see, I got uh, 20, 2,868 subscribers. So that's just incredible. I've gotten since last Friday. I've gotten over um, a thousand subscribers. I had just over 1,800. Uh, last Friday when I went to the farm so it's not even like tomorrow morning will be exactly one week and I've got over a thousand subscribers in the last week so thanks everybody for uh, subscribing to One Pug Life and uh, you know I owe a lot to Dave and Dave's farm and uh, Redneck Rickham and Crazy British Bloke you know they're all great guys and Dan L. Pat and um, uh, tomorrow we're going to uh, I'm going to ride the lawn chair and Dan is going to ride his lawn tractor and Rick's going to ride the uh, Speed X. We're going to ride it from Rick's house all the way up to Dave's. So Bloke's going to be driving big dirty and uh, we're uh, 
yeah, we're going to do a little road trip on the uh, on the chairs and tractors. So um, that should be uh, for a good video. But yeah, like I said, um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with me taking the camera into court. Um, it's it's an open court. Uh, this is Ontario. You know, I don't know what uh, the laws are like in the states or in different you know provinces in Canada or whatever. But uh, here. If it's open traffic court, there's absolutely no reason why you can't videotape your own court case, you know. Um, and as far as, like, a lot of people were asking what the judge said, or what I said to the judge, because um, he couldn't hear it, you know, because the camera was far back and everybody's sort of quiet or whatever in there. But uh, basically, uh, the prosecutor wanted the full $110 fine. I told him that I would plead guilty for a lesser charge, so he told that to the judge. The judge asked me if I had anything to say. I said that this off-road vehicle is more like a mobility scooter, and the only difference is, is that it's gas-powered, and, um, I, you know, I, I'm, and that's when I had the uh, dirt bike transmission on it. I was trying to put a, a, a Honda 70 uh, Transmission. I cut the head off it and capped that off, and was just belt driving the transmission with with the Honda engine through the transmission to the rear differential. But it just it was slipping really bad. It, the the transmission was no good, so it, it just wasn't working. So I was driving it down the road just for a test drive. I was might have been going five kilometers an hour. I had a slow moving vehicle sign on it. I was on the shoulder of the road. It's not like I was joy riding, blasting down the middle of the road or anything like that. So. Um, you know, uh, I said, you know, he asked me if I own my own business. I said, yeah. He said, uh, you know, have I ever been charged with anything like this before? I said, no, because I haven't. I've never been charged with driving an off-road vehicle on the road before. And uh, he said uh, that because of my honesty in court and that, um, you know, this isn't an ongoing occurrence with me that he will uh, dismiss the, the charges, and that was that. I walked out of the courtroom, you've seen it, I walked out, the judge said, you know, there's going to be no fine or nothing like that, so I walked out and gave you guys the thumbs up, and uh, that was the end of it. So, um, yeah, it has absolutely nothing to do with Dave's fine, you know, like, I go to Dave's Farm every weekend, I do crazy stunts, you know, I, I do it because I like it, I'm not getting paid, I, I applied for a partner, and I, you, you probably noticed that my background got taken away, the uh, the chicks holding up the one pug life sign, uh, it just disappeared yesterday, so somebody must have reported my background, and they and YouTube took it off, so now I just got my, my uh, big escort jump as a background, and... Uh, you know, so I'm trying to clean up my, my channel, so, because I, I have two months to clean up my channel and get rid of anything that could violate the uh, YouTube, um, you know, partnership thing. So, uh, hopefully, uh, when I apply in two months, they will accept me as partner. And, uh, like, I owe all my subscribers a big thanks, you know. Uh, I'll check it again, see if I got any more. Yeah, 2871 now, so I've gotten, you know, another four subscribers since just making this video. So, uh, I will, uh, be making some, uh, cabbage rolls for the weekend, and I'll show you that video coming up, uh, I'll probably put that up tonight, too. Okay, thanks.